And there we go. Hello everyone, my name is Duration, and welcome back to our Alpha 1.2.6 Let's Play World. The place where OBS sometimes does an encoding overload, and we render in 480p. <laughs> and also, apparently the trees do not grow the way you want them. Again. Like, how many times have I grown this tree, and it's still the wrong one? I think I might try trimming this down and seeing if I can get it to look at least something what I want it to look like. But now it looks like it's grown too tall. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to do anymore. Like, I've tried so many times to get this to grow. But I just, I, I think I'm, I think I'm just about to give up. Like, I, I, I can't keep, I can't keep this up anymore. This tree is just gonna drive me crazy. So now that I've trimmed out our tree here, it's starting to look okay, but now it's just reminding me of like a green lollipop or something. And I'm really trying to not make this all about food, but it's 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 becoming a bit of a running theme here, and it's not even intentional. But anyways, um, it can also be a balloon, a, a green balloon we're going to call it, the balloon tree. I think that's actually a nickname that these trees were given, except they were usually... A little bit shorter but yes the animals are spawning oh great this makes it so great for me to record so I was just looking for the cave that I was branch mining towards on on one of my previous live streams actually I wanted to explore it in our episode I think there is a cave above me here so we'll have to see if that's actually linked but actually, in a previous live stream, it was from last Saturday, you can check out the stream archive. Um, we found this cave, and I actually decided not to explore it and keep it for an episode. So here's hoping that we find something interesting. Now, I heard a bunch of guys around here, and I don't know. This is a dead end. It doesn't seem to be connected. Huh. It seems like this cave is a bit of a dead end. I was really hoping that it was linked to those zombies, but maybe we'll have to go digging around here and see if we can find it. Turns out I forgot to take some coal with me, so now I gotta do the walk of shame all the way back to go get some. Now that we've got some torches, we should be able to go see what the whole zombie situation is. It seems to be a little quieter now. But I hear water still, so I'm hopeful that there's another cave somewhere around here. Now, we can actually utilize a trick that I was actually showing off in my live stream as well. I don't know exactly when it was patched out of the game, but essentially what you can do is you could get what's they called x-ray vision <laughs> and we're gonna stick ourselves right on the edge of the block here then we're gonna place down some gravel which will actually allow us to see right through the rock just like that and as you can see there's actually a cave right in front of us here so we're actually our hunch was right there's something there's something over here we just gotta figure out what it is now I'm kind of nervous that there's going to be some guys right here, but I don't hear anyone. So I think no pain, no gain, right? Doesn't seem to be anyone waiting for us here. Yeah, I don't see anyone here. There is some water here though. Is there anything valuable around? Nope. It's just, just a dead end. <laughs> Seems to be something just over here too, and I'm actually hearing some zombies as well. Now, one thing, like, I'm sort of thinking to myself, you know, do I want to use this x-ray? Like, do I consider this to be cheaty? And I, th it, it is sort of cheaty, yes, but at the same time, it's also something that was part of the game at this time 
in the life of Minecraft. Oh, and look at this. That's conveniently placed. So I, I'm kind of hesitant to say that I wouldn't be allowed because at the same time, it is kind of handy. <laughs> so I'll probably end up using it a little bit on and off. Maybe I won't use it too much, just every once in a while. Uh, I'm still going to be doing branch mining, no matter what, because I'm going to need materials. Stone is actually like something that you need to go mine out, right? And it's also a very primary building block. So there's no reason why I won't be mining. Oh, he's, he's back here. There he is. <laughs> I think that's the first mob I've seen down in the caves here. Well, I just missed the recording. I got a little tensed up, but uh, there was a creeper down here too. <laughs> so, maybe I'm not alone after all. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I thought I was going to die there. Stay away. Stay away. Okay, well... I mean, at least I've got some armor on. It's still sort of protecting me a little bit, I think. But wow, two creepers in a row. And it looks like this is a dead end as well. That's one weird thing that I found a lot of in Minecraft Alpha here, is you get these weird, just straight walls. I don't know if it has to do with chunk borders or how that works with the, with the uh, cave generation. It's just very interesting. Like, you get these very weird flat walls. I can't tell which ear the sound is coming out of. Might be coming out from behind me. And I think I found who's making the whole racket. A bunch of creepers in this cave up here. <laughs> Not making the sound, of course, because, well... Oh, <laughs> Not until you get close to them. You want to blow the blow everything to pieces? That's fine with me. It's gonna be a bit tricky, but give it a shot. I'd actually be pretty surprised if I can kill both of these without lighting the whole place up here. I can't seem to get him to any arrows. I've got five arrows. That was a miss. I think I'm missing all of these, to be honest. Yeah, they're all sitting in the wall there. <laughs> well, should I just let them go? He doesn't even... Oh, because you know what? He's probably seeing me. But then he can't actually... Like, he bobs down again. I might be able to get him from, like, underneath or something. Let me try something here. Oh shoot. That was, that was not That was not my brightest idea. This is This is a very bad idea. <laughs> I think I just knocked out all the torches in my entire tunnel. Okay, I got to make sure I light this whole thing up again or I'm going to have monsters sneaking up behind me. I think we most of our torches were not where the water could get them. Somehow we need to stop the water from going that way. Where is that creeper? Or did he find a new spot? He might have found a new spot. Let's take a peek and see. Oh yeah. I think I redirected the water when I... Okay. Got him. And I don't hear any more dudes, so is it safe? That's the question. Also, I need to make sure I can get out of here just in case, you know, something goes horribly wrong. I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna hope that nothing drops down on top of us. I hear eggs? Wow, this was a bit of a disappointment, I'm not gonna lie. But I heard a pig. I must be very close to the surface or something. I'm curious to see if there's any other caves around here. I'm going to use some gravel again. Do I have some? Yes, I do. And we can go like this. Line ourselves up. I kind of used the wall 
to kind of barely shift yourself. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, I don't see anything over here. Seeing a bunch of iron around the cave here, but I want to find something more. I would love to find a dungeon. That would be amazing. I can't see... I see some caves over here. Definitely a huge cave system around here. But, um... Uh, nothing really close by. Yeah, but I think I'm just gonna pick up some of this iron here from the cave, and then we're gonna head back up to the top, and we're gonna start work on another project. Um, I'm gonna kind of get a few things going at once here, because I don't want to work on the base every single episode, because then it's just gonna start getting old. Uh, we gotta keep things fresh, right? So, I've been testing some ideas in a separate world, and I think it's gonna be an interesting one. I'm looking forward to it. And if we take a look here, you can see that we've got a decent haul from that caving session. Uh, some of this stuff obviously was from uh, another time when I had gone mining. I had left it in the chest down in the mine, and I hadn't brought it up yet. But we are starting to get quite rich. Uh, we have a lot of iron. Uh, I've got 64 and a block of ore here, so that's going to smelt up, and we'll have a lot of iron. And we've got a little bit of gold here too, uh, a bunch of redstone, and then a bunch more cobblestone as well, which is going to be good for building our base. But I want to start on a new project, and I was looking at what we have here. We've got all this richness all piled up in this chest here, but I was saying in the last episode it would be cool to kind of display what we have in like a vault. So I'm thinking on building a vault, but it's not going to be any vault. We got to have security on this thing. It's going to be a multi-level security system. We are going to have tons of different doors and different codes that you're going to have to enter in order to get into this vault. It is going to be secure in the fact that, you know, you wouldn't just come in and just break right through into the vault, right? I mean, we're, we're kind of, uh, you know, imagining that this is a world where you wouldn't just be able to just break right through the side. I was thinking we could build it somehow into the side of this mountain. I kind of want to build it, like, in the cliff face here or something and have, like, some really cool stairs going up to it, maybe. Um, but I don't know how I want to go about that yet. I think in that cliff face would be really cool. Uh, and I, I'm just trying to piece together everything that I've got here so far. Uh, because I think eventually one day I might kind of renovate this storage room here. Because I feel like I could maybe make it look a little nicer than it is now. Right now we've just got a three high wall and then the glass just starts. But I think we could really decorate this and make it look a little bit... Uh, have a little bit more shape to it maybe. So that would be uh, something to think about too. But I want to get started on you know, maybe making the entrance into this vault. As you can see here, we've got tons of iron on us, a bunch of diamonds, and tons of gold here as well. We've got it all smelted up and stored away. And I also wanted to make sure that I made some arrows for myself because I went through that cave and I realized I just killed all of my arrows. So I want to make sure that I am restocked up again. And it's actually, I don't think I've actually crafted arrows in this series at all. So this is going to be the first time that I actually have a bunch of arrows on me. I think it's also about time that we upgraded to an iron sword. Um, probably could even do a diamond sword because they last a long time, but uh, I think we'll just stick with iron for now. And uh, maybe when we have a few more diamonds, then we'll upgrade again. So I've started building a door here for the vault. Uh, eventually I'm going to stick an iron door in here too. But uh, one of the things that I kind of wanted to do was do a little bit of experimenting with building like a bit of a mountain path to get up here. If you take a look, like I kind of want to ride along the edge of the cliff here. And I want to make it look like sort of like a natural path. So it's kind of going from like a natural path into more of maybe an industrial styled vault. But I want to start out with, with this path because I don't want to just build a straight staircase down because it will look quite unnatural. And it will also stick out quite far. I might even do it with a bit of an overhang too. That might look very cool. And maybe, maybe I could even do a tunnel. Uh, but I'm going to give it a little bit of experimentation. Doing a bit of uh, landscaping here just to make it look 
kind of natural. I've already started over here, as you can sort of see, and I kind of want to just make sure that this gravel stays encased. I don't really want to see too much of it from the side. So I decided to go for doing a bit of a cave and then coming around and popping out somewhere around down there. Uh, I've gotten this so far, but since I want to kind of make the cave look like it was naturally generated, uh, I thought I would use our TNT to kind of get that natural kind of looking cave. Now, I'm going to need to drop off some of this stone here. So if we just pop down some TNT and we put it right, right back here, I think is probably good. We pop that in there and light it up. Stand back. We should get a nice square, it looks like. <laughs> Great. Well, actually, it's still going to make it easier for me to make this look natural anyways, so... I'm still going to use this TNT, but I guess we just got to rough up the edges a little bit to make it look a little more natural. And actually, having some of this gravel coming in is not a bad idea either. Just like that. Chuck another piece in. Just like that. But we're probably going to want to go down at a bit of a steeper angle, so maybe when we get here now, now we want to kind of start taking things down a little bit. So we'll go like this, and we'll stick this one right here. We'll make it go a little steeper. So now we've got a deeper hole, wow. We might have just hit a big gravel patch here and then it blew up a lot more. So, but I can still work with this. I kind of want to make sure that we keep going towards this area. I'd rather blow a hole a little closer to the edge than I'd want to. Let's see where this goes. Wow, we still haven't hit the uh, still haven't hit the edge yet. I think we've got to really curve out this way now. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> and there we go. Now we're out at the bottom here. And now what I'm actually going to do is kind of go through this cave. And we're going to add some stairs, we're going to kind of rough up the edges. I might even include some cobblestone in the wall to give the walls a little bit more texture. So it won't be like a Minecraft generated cave, but it will still feel like a very natural kind of Minecraft styled cave, just with a little bit more detail in it as well. And as you can see, we've got the cave open out to the bottom here, and I've decorated it with a bunch of gravel. We've got some stairs leading up through the gravel, and through this nice beautiful cave. I think it's looking quite good, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it kind of worked out kind of nicely with this gravel here, and it gave me a bunch of ideas to kind of just pile it up at the side, and it makes the path a little bit more distinct on where you actually need to walk up. But at the same time, it also uh, decorates the side and gives a little bit of a, you know, extra texture to look at, as opposed to just cobble and stone. And I kind of like it. It makes it feel like you're not just in a clean cut environment, but like very natural and rugged looking. I think this is one of the first large um, kind of terrain projects that I've really done. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with the results. But just filling in a bunch of different spots here with some cobblestone. And yeah, I think that's pretty much done with the cave. Uh, now we can move on to actually getting maybe the first uh, security feature of our vaults going. So as you can see here, I've already put an iron door and I actually put a little hidden closet here, you know, just in case uh, we we have anyone sneaking up on us, then uh, we've got a little secret area to hide out. I also need to set up this dirt here because it turns out that the grass is not actually going to grow up here, so we got to make sure that we get the grass to grow through all these... Uh, through all these fence posts that I put up here too. So I put a bit of extra dirt here just to kind of get that started and hopefully that will spread kind of quickly. So in order to get this uh, to work, what I want to do is I want to hide a button inside the cave area here. So you need to press the button which will unlock the door to get you into the first room of the main vault. So what we need to do though, because pressing a button will only power redstone momentarily and then the button will pop out and the redstone will become unpowered. So what we need to do is we need to wire this button up to a latch. Now the reason why I'm not using a lever is because a button can be hidden a lot easier since 
we have stone buttons, and that blends in very well with uh, the stone walls in the cave. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a latch. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick the button here. So if we press the button here, now you can see the redstone turns on and it stays on. So we can wire this up to the door. And then once we get inside the door, what we're going to do is we're going to have a pressure plate. So then we walk on the pressure plate, the door closes behind us, and then the whole system is reset. So you press the button to go in. Once you've gone in, there will be a pressure plate on the other side of the door. The door will close. And then when you want to go out, you just step on the pressure plate. And since it's going to be right next to the iron door, it's going to open again. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to dig a little bit of a room out behind or beside the, the vault door here. And we're going to kind of hide our redstone in here. So we'll just make a little secret hidden room. And then we'll seal this all off afterwards once we're done. Uh, so that it can't be tampered with, right? And as you can see here, we've got the first uh, bit of the circuit in. So if we power the line above here, you can see that the door opens. And then when we step on the pressure plate and then step off the pressure plate, the door closes behind us. And then if we were to step on the pressure plate to go out, it would just open the door because the pressure plate is right next to the door anyways. So now all we have to do is wire up this top line into a button somewhere hidden in the cave. I've also made a habit of starting to stick my redstone on cobblestone blocks here so that in case I'm digging around this area, if I stumble across a cobblestone block, I know there's probably redstone on top of it. Okay, and now we can just go like this and put in the redstone running from the button into our latch system. And that should be done. Now if we go test it out, I've hidden the button in a place where it's pretty hidden. <laughs> uh, you don't really notice it when you're going down and when you're going up. It's not immediately noticeable either. It's kind of hidden right in this little crack right here. And if you hit the button, you can hear the door opened. And if we head over to the door, you can see, yep, it stays open. And then as soon as we step off the pressure plate, then the door closes again. And we don't need to see this redstone anymore. It should maintain its functionality. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's been a lot of fun. I haven't done technical stuff in a little bit again, so it's been very fun to kind of get out the redstone and try out a new contraption. I also really enjoyed doing some of the landscaping too. Building this cave was very cool uh, and it looks really neat and I can't wait to do some more landscaping stuff in the future as well. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to comment down below what your favorite part was or any suggestions that you have for me. I'll be sure to take them into consideration. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of ideas still and obviously the main base is kind of the biggest one. This is kind of another side project that I wanted to do as well to show off some of the technical stuff that you can do in Alpha Minecraft. There still is a lot of things that you can do and the limit is just your imagination. Thanks so much for watching guys. It's been Gyration and we'll see you in the next episode.